another bleak record reached in New York. With an additional 731 deaths recorded over the past 24 hours, the COVID-19 death toll in New York City alone has surpassed the number of Americans killed on 9-11. The state's governor did have some good news, however, suggesting social distancing measures are showing the light at the end of the tunnel. Right now we're projecting that we are uh, reaching a plateau in the total number of hospitalizations and you can see the growth and you see it starting to flatten. Again, this is a projection. It still depends on what we do and what we do will affect those numbers. With nearly half of the country's coronavirus deaths, New York remains the hardest hit state in the U.S. And although the end of the health crisis may be nearing, the mayor of New York City warned the collateral economic consequences have only just begun. The state has already seen an unprecedented surge in job losses, meaning thousands of New Yorkers may soon be concerned about food security. I want to be clear what our resolve is. We will not let any New Yorker go hungry. In the last three weeks, the efforts of Department of Education Department for the Aging, Emergency Management, all coordinated by Commissioner Garcia. Those efforts have provided 2.6 million meals to New Yorkers who needed food. The New York mayor cited a report projecting that at least half a million New Yorkers have already lost their jobs or may soon be unemployed. Numbers that are likely to be second only to the Great Depression in scale.